how to increase your conversion rate. Today, I want to share with you one trick that helped me increase my conversion rate from 7.1% to 27.7% in less than two weeks. And make sure to stay until the end to learn about the bonus tip I want to share with you. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm the owner of KarmaDNA.com. I've helped many coaches and online entrepreneurs just like you plan launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media burnout or tech burnout. In today's video, I wanted to talk about this one tip, the only thing that helped me increase my conversion rate and the strategy that helps my clients increase their conversion rate every time they apply. In order to increase the conversion rate of your entire funnel, you need to first look at each step separately so that you can find different strategies to increase the conversion rate of each step. When it comes to increasing the conversion rate of your funnel, make sure to look at each step separately from top of the funnel all the way to the bottom, increasing the conversion rate of each step. When we talk about this, we're talking about starting from your free content, either on social media or evergreen content that is free, that helps you get traffic to your landing page or opt-in page where you want them to sign up. As long as you bring relevant traffic to your landing page or opt-in page, since you have a freebie, why shouldn't they sign up, right? But no, if you think about it, not everybody want to sign up for everything just because they're free. If you're bringing relevant traffic to your page, but not that many people are signing up, meaning the conversion rate of your landing page is low, the only way to change this is with your copy. Yes, your copy, meaning what you say on your landing page. So first, in order to reach the right audience, either on social media content or evergreen content, your copy is the most important thing so that you can qualify the target audience, making sure that those are the right people so that you can send your reach to your landing page. First, you got to turn your reach into traffic. How do you increase the conversion rate of that? Good written content, good video content. These are all about copywriting. Any video script you have, any um, anything you write on your landing page, anything you write on social media, anything you write on your evergreen content, this is all copy because you're writing these for marketing purposes, to attract more leads and the right leads. So once you reach the right relevant um, target audience with good copy, and once you send them to your landing page or opt-in page for your free offer, if you have good relevant traffic to your landing page or opt-in page, and not that many people are signing up, the only reason is your copy, meaning they either don't understand what this is for or what they're going to do with it, or it's not really so efficient for them to use. Whatever the offer is for, basically, they don't see the value in this free offer. So that's why they don't want to sign up, because if you're like me, I don't want another promo email in my email box, right? Like not even in my junk, not even in my promo box. So when I'm signing up for something for free, I want I make sure that it's something that will really help me. Otherwise, I'm not signing up because there's so many different free offers around, right? So how do you make the difference? You can only make a difference and you can only increase the conversion rate of those people signing up for your free offer. Don't overthink this. A lot of us, We try to give everything so that we are giving, we're we're writing something different, something more attractive, 
we're trying to be clever and all of that, right? One of my favorite copywriters, Tarzan K, she says, don't try to be clever, be clear with your copy. This is so true. This is like the number one, like literally the, the one and only tip. Even if you don't want to learn much about copywriting, this is the one tip you can take home with you. That is writing clear copy. So here are three tips to increase the conversion rate with your copy. Number one, talk about one thing. Don't talk about your vision and mission and, and business and all the services and products and bunch of buttons and all of that. If this landing page is for one free offer, talk about only that offer. Don't confuse people and make sure that they understand, okay? Number two is being clear. Like Tarzan said, be very clear. Be transparent with them. Don't just promise the whole world and the um, living your best life and all of this stuff, right? Tell them clearly what they will achieve once they sign up for this offer. Okay, it can't be too much because this is only a lead bank magnet, right? So you're going to give them one quick win. And what is that quick win? Just talk about that. And the third tip is being specific. Literally call out your ideal client on top, on your heading. Call out your ideal client. Tell them who this is for. What is this for? Okay. And of course, what this is, obviously. Because you need to approach it from their eyes, okay? Like, talk about the benefit they're getting by signing up to those offers and make sure to be clear again. How can you verify that you have good copy? What I do is I show my copy to someone who's not my ideal client, who's not my target audience, someone who's not even maybe in my niche, who's not really, you know, relevant to what I do and ask them what they think this offer is for. If I'm getting a clear answer about what they think that this offer is for, then great. But if I'm getting something different than what this offer is for or what the offer is, or if I'm getting a bunch of different questions, that means that copy can be improved, okay? So if you get these questions, make notes of these questions so that you can integrate those answers to your copy because that means you weren't clear, right? And by answering to these questions, you're gonna clarify your copy so people can understand what it is for and see the real value in signing up for it. So when it comes to the bonus tip, and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates on my videos. I post weekly content about coaching, online marketing, and entrepreneurship. And don't forget to check out the description under my videos for some free trainings. Now, we talked about the one trick that will help you increase your conversion rate throughout your funnel, which is good copy. And we talked about the three tips about writing good copy, which was talking about one thing, being clear and being specific. And the bonus tip is optimize your page for mobile, not only for SEO purposes, but also for your client. What happened recently was one of my interns had designed my one of my landing pages. When I checked out, the conversion rate wasn't as high as I would have liked. So once I started auditing the page, I realized that the mobile and tablet version of the page, so sometimes depending on which website builder you're using or which platform you have your landing pages, opt-in pages on, it may not translate the the desktop version may not translate to the mobile and tablet version with a strategic layout. Okay. So when I looked at the layout, 
I didn't have the heading or the most important part of the copy at the top. And I didn't have a good um, strategic order of each section, each um, maybe image and then copy and then video and then copy again. So I didn't have the good layout because the attention span of the content consumers is so short. If you don't capture them right away with your copy, you're going to lose a lot of them. And this takes about literally two seconds. They made surveys about this and it is really like within seconds. Okay. It's easy to hit that X and get out of it to make sure that the mobile users and tablet users are able to understand clearly what this offer is for at a first glance, make sure to check the layout of your uh, landing page or opt-in page for mobile or tablet. Make sure to optimize the design of the page, um, of course, as well as the content for SEO, but optimize the design for your user, for people who are coming to your page. And that's going to make a difference in your conversion rate as well. Since there are so many users now on their cell phone and not as many on their desktop, especially if you're sending traffic from social media, most people are on their, on their cell phone while on social media, and they go ahead and look at your page from their um, cell phone or tablet. So make sure to optimize that. So what was one thing that you learned new in this video? Let me know in the comments. I hope these tips were helpful. I will see you on the next video.